I'm going to grab onto one of these hot potatoes on the grill and I'm going to toss that potato up in the air. The goal of the game is that the first person in line catches the potato and it's hot! And they immediately toss it to the next person in the line who catches it and it's hot! And they toss it to the third person in the line and it's still hot! Now as this hot potato that's been removed from the barbecue grill is tossed and transferred from one person to the next, what's happening to this hot potato? The answer is, it's cooling down. It's giving off heat. It's giving off energy. So, that's the, are going to be our analogy. By the end of the line, by the time we get to the 10th person or 12th person in this line, this potato is cooler than it was when it came off the barbecue grill. It is cooled down. Keep that analogy in mind. In the electron transport system, we don't have a row of people in a, in a line. We have a row of coenzymes, vitamins and minerals that are lined up. The NAD and FAD release these hot potato hydrogen atoms that have been removed, not from the barbecue grill, but from a sugar molecule. They are high in energy. They're actually high in energy because the electrons are orbiting at a high energy orbital level. But anyhow, these hot potato hydrogen atoms have been removed off the sugar molecule and they are now released to this row of coenzymes. As these hot potato hydrogen atoms and electrons are transferred from one coenzyme to the next, these are coenzymes, vitamins and minerals, as these hot potato hydrogen atoms are transferred from one coenzyme to the next, just like the hot potato was giving off heat and cooling down, these hot potato hydrogen atoms are giving off energy. Energy is being released as these hydrogen atoms are being transferred from one coenzyme to the next. This energy that is being released is used to join at, at, uh, an ADP and a P together to form ATP. To join an ADP together with a P, a phosphate, to form ATP. And th so this keeps occurring. This energy that is being released from transferring these hot potato hydrogen atoms from one coenzyme to the next, this energy that's being released is being used to join a phosphate onto adenosine diphosphate to form that high energy nucleotide called adenosine triphosphate. This is where all the ATPs are being produced. How many ATPs are being produced? How many ATPs have been produced? A total of, want to guess? 34 ATPs are produced in this last series of reactions called the electron transport system. All right, that explains the answer to the first question of where are the remaining 34 ATPs? They are produced in this process. And we might just mention that there's a name for attaching phosphate onto ADP to form ATP. We call that process phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is the name for adding a phosphate onto ADP to form a high energy ATP. Why is it called phosphorylation? Because we're adding a phosphate, a phosphate group. Now, the second thing that we had to answer was where are the hot hydrogen atoms attached to oxygen? At the end of this electron transport system, Oxygen enters this last series of reactions and the cooled down hydrogen atoms are attached to oxygen. And what do you get when you attach a couple of hydrogen atoms onto oxygen? H2O, water. So at the end of the electron transport system, that's where the cooled down hydrogen atoms, and they have cooled down in the sense that they've given off their energy, that was used to make ATP, and they are attached to oxygen, and form, that forms water. Remember, the whole reason for inhaling oxygen, for breathing oxygen, was that it serves as a hydrogen acceptor. That's how the cell finally disposes of these hydrogen atoms, by attaching them to oxygen to form a harmless substance called water. 
If the cell had not done that, this release of hydrogen atoms into the cell would have increased the acidity of the cell and killed the cell. Now this process of getting rid of hydrogen atoms is called oxidation. That's called oxidation. That's, we had learned earlier to remember OIL. Oxidation is a loss or removal of the hydrogen atoms. So what we see that is occurring in the electron transport system is two things. Number one, we are getting rid of these hydrogen atoms by attaching them to oxygen. And number two, in the process, we are forming ATP. Overall, this process is called oxidative phosphorylation. That's the fancy term for the description of what is occurring in the electron transport system. Oxidative phosphorylation, the removal of the hydrogen atoms, the disposing of them, and forming ATP in the process.